With the benefit of being touch-free, face recognition technology is increasingly being used in access control systems within workplace. They are safe, convenient, and accurate. In this video, we will offer three tips to get a standard ID photo, ensuring an accurate comparison rate and quick access. Tip one: Choose the right shooting distance and angle. You'd be surprised how much the shape of the face in a photo changes when you take a photo at different distances. A close selfie may lead to facial deformities or disproportion. Such non-standard photos will decrease the recognition rates. Therefore, we recommend shooting at a distance of around 1.5 meters. It is common sense to face the camera directly when taking an ID photo, but there are many situations where people shoot photos from the top down or from the side. This has become common lately in selfies, but may lead to errors in recognition. All in all, it's best to choose the right distance and angle when taking an ID photo. That is a distance of about 1.5 meters, and try to look straight at the camera. Tip two: Use photos that are as clear as possible. Many ID photos come from interesting sources, such as the one above, taken at a scenic destination. It looks normal at first, but is blurry when the face is enlarged. From a technical point of view, the pupil distance in ID photo, the distance between the eyes measured in pixels, should be greater than 60 pixels. Another technical point: in a standard ID photo, a pixel size of 640 by 480 pixels should be enough. In other words, the file size of the photo should reach 150 to 200 KB in JPEG format. Your smartphone is likely more than capable for this job. Tip three: Use photos that are as close to the real you as possible. Lifestyle photos or Facebook avatars look stylish and may be convenient, but using them for ID photos is not a good idea. They can easily lead to misidentification, as in the following situations: one, wearing a hat or sunglasses which cover the eyebrows or eyes; two. Photographs with poor brightness, even faces that are half shadowed, or taken in backlit conditions that obscure the main features of the face. Three, excessive use of filters or photo beautification tools such as stretching, smoothing, whitening, etc. Therefore, we suggest using photos that are as close to the real you as possible. Well, there you have it. Three tips for taking a standard ID photo to ensure an accurate comparison rate and quick access. We hope this helps you in your own system, and we'll see you in the next video.